The fundamental forces of the universe are some of the most underappreciated things we take for granted. They're like a structural lattice that runs through everything. Everything there could possibly be is tied together by these forces. Humans are just as much a part of this lattice as deep sea fish, sound waves and stardust thousands of galaxies away. We're all united by forces. This view on the universe is a good way to introduce Spinoza's monism, the idea that everything is one substance. Spinoza's aim was to see Descartes' ideas to their full conclusions. Descartes had argued that the world was divided into three substances, the mental, the physical, and then God, who is the uncreated and necessary being that underpins reality. Spinoza, though, thought that if anything was to be intelligible to us, then it must be in some way be related to us. We can only make sense of things if we are part of that. It is like trying to imagine extra dimensions. It's impossible, and we recourse to inadequate analogies involving cakes, trapeziums, or nonsense polysyllabic words. So, if we're to make sense of these separate substances, of the mind and God, we must be a part of them. The only way to resolve this must be for all of nature to be the same fundamental substance, including things like thoughts. This substance takes form in different ways, in which he called modes. But everything is still, at core, the same thing. So my consciousness, and ant sensations, a light beam's journey, and aliens on Alpha Centauri are all modes of this mono-substance which he called God or Nature. Spinoza thought that the more we reflect on the workings of the universe from our small perspective, the more we can unify our minds with this God slash nature. This is why the fundamental forces are so incredible. The more you think about them, the more interconnected everything seems. Spinoza believed that it's our ego bias that keeps us from the entire picture, but it's striking that the more we learn in science, and the more we reflect on things, we can see how everything joins up. We see totality in the fragments. We appreciate that everything isn't so disconnected after all. Learn more by checking out Mini Philosophy, a small book of big ideas.